120 minutes and this week we're actually going to do the whole show from Stockholm. I'm actually outside Pet Sounds Records, going to be going inside there very soon. We'll be talking to lots of different bands from the Swedish alternative and independent music scene. Also catching up with Sonic Youth, who are in fact playing there this weekend and finding out what they think of Europe this time around and a reminder about that competition going to see them. Also we've got brand new videos on this evening's show from Drop 19's, also God Flesh, and in fact we'll go into uh, another brand new video right now, this is Daisy Chainsaw. While you watch that, I'm going to go and get warm. It's very cold here. <laughs> on the other side of the counter is Michael, who's the owner of the shop. How long have you actually been here? The actual shop itself? Uh, here it's been for two months, but the oh. shop's been around for 13 years. 13 years? Yeah. And you, you've not been there for 13 years, have you? 12. 12 years? Yeah. So was it hard to actually start up a kind of indie shop in Stockholm? Or? Well, nowadays, yeah, very hard. Oh, really? Yeah, I think so. I noticed it's actually, it's all CD, you don't sell vinyl? No, we have another shop around the corner. Which, ah, uh, yeah. that's what you The saw. only vinyl that's left. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And would you find it, most people, are, you know, in Stockholm, uh, they want CD anyway? Yeah, definitely, yeah. They really do. Mm. And what would you say is the, the kind of, the hottest thing in Stockholm? Right now here? Yeah. In this shop? Suede, for instance. Yeah, really? Yeah. And the Swedish band Popsicle. And Popsicle, yeah. who we're going to be talking to. Yeah, that's right. Talking to you really soon. Mm -hmm. But is it... Here's the t-shirt. Uh -huh. <laughs> so the majority of, uh, uh, particularly the shop here, you find yourself is what, mainly guitar bands or maybe sort of techno, industrial bands? That's a little bit synth, but mostly guitar bands. Yeah. Main, mainly mm -hmm. guitar. Yeah. And is it still, uh, I mean, how's the whole kind of the grunge Nirvana time scene? Is that still big now, or would you say that's fading out a bit? It's, yeah, fading, yeah. I, I would say so, yeah. yeah. There's still a few bands around, but I mean, no. Okay. Moving on. Mm. Okay. Most of the English scene again. Okay. Well, we're going to take over your shop for the afternoon. I hope you don't mind. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to be talking to lots of Swedish bands, so stay with us. Week, where I've been joined by two people who, if you watch the show regularly, will not be strangers to you, because we have played their video currently over the past few weeks. That is Jorgen and Elizabeth from Whipped Cream. Welcome to the show. Thanks a lot. Nice to actually speak to you, rather than just hear you. Oh. Good change. <laughs> now, in fact, um, you were touring in the UK recently, you were, well, last month. You did 15 dates? Yeah. Uh, we did 15 dates in um, 18 days. Mm. Busy well, schedule. Busy yeah. schedule, yeah. yeah. We were quite tired as well, but still we had, we lived in London in a flat which had, has been Christine Keeler's flat once. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Very nice. And that was the, um, the conference. A bit of history. Yeah, yeah really. History, really. But for yourselves, so talking about history, you started 1989, yeah. Yeah. correct? Mm -hmm. And now you've this year signed to Snap Records, is that right? You actually yeah. did the deal? Yeah. And Tune in the Century is the album yeah. that uh, we got this video of. But you had an album before that as well. Yeah. Is, that, yeah. is it still the same lineup as the group, the original yeah, lineup? Yeah, the same, li same original lineup. And um, I think it will always be the same original li lineup. Yeah. Is it, is it, I mean, how is it? In, trying to start up a group over here in Sweden, if you could tell me, is it an easy thing to get started? Is there places for people to play? Are there people who want to come and see you? Is it a simple short answer? No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's very hard. Yeah. Especially um, like um, play, playing in a group with a, with a female yeah. singer, singer and guitarist. It's, it's really uncommon here in Sweden. Okay. It's, a, it's a man's world it's a man's world <laughs> yes as, it is as james <laughs> did say once but how do you find uh, it's sort of exporting yourself out of sweden to to people how do they view you do they do you always get saying oh that's the swedish band or or do you find they always try and compare you to somebody from i like i remember reading reviews for your records and stuff in england and they always say it sounds like x band or this yeah. band or that, rather than they are their own band do you find it a problem no I think people are interested in in the fact that we're from Sweden. Yeah. But I don't think it's it's hard for us in any way. Right. It's a positive thing. Yeah, it's positive. It's positive, yeah, and, and since we are very very unknown and since Sweden is a very unknown country, especially yeah. when it comes to indie music. Sure. I mean you have to have you have to relate our music to something. Right. Something yeah. and, uh, well possible. it could be better if someone <laughs> would say that this is typically, typically with free music. Which I'm sure they will in time. Yeah, I think so. People, people, people so. have to get to know you. We had really, um, we had, we had good reviews, live reviews, yeah. and where they yeah. said that, that we had something that most British bands didn't have. We play slow and we play very heavy as well. And yeah. um, well, as a matter of fact, I don't, I don't consider us as a pop band. We, we right. are a... No. You're your own band. 
Yeah. Well, listen, thanks for joining me here. Yeah. And, uh, just rushing to take a look at your, your latest video, right? Yeah, now. thanks. Thank you. Ooh. My second guests who join me here in the old record store are Popsicle. And actually, can we hear the music? Turn it up. Segway there, it's a little point I think. That's uh, obviously a bit of the album. Popsicle. Now I thought you were from Lapland, but that was a bit of a romantic idea. You're actually based in Stockholm, aren't you? We're based in Stockholm. But you are from up north originally. Well, we are. From up north. <laughs> <laughs> but you've, you're a new band. Is it nine months you've been together, or just over, or a bit uh, longer? August last year. So yeah, still just over. It's over. Yeah. Okay. So have you been busy though? Because in that time you've had one mini album, an EP, and a whole album. Yeah, on nine months. Yeah. yeah. So. Like a pregnancy. Yeah. You must have been saving up all these songs or you were just writing as you you went straight into it? We write them all the time. So yeah. And we just record them and release them as soon as possible. Yeah. Get them out there. But if you search what, what were you who were the bands who were influencing you then? What was the the sort of linch in which brought you all together as a group of individuals? We known each other. Ten years or so. Right. We, we knew each other before we started playing together, so it's, right. it's not that we're really united by some yeah. some mission. No, we just like each other. We like each other as people and you want to make records. So what what what's happening now in the near future? What you got a video on the way I've been told. Yeah, what's we've got a video made on the last single Undulate. Right. Which we call the album. Oh, good. Well, hopefully we can get a hold of that. So what, what's going to be happening in the new year? Nothing well, much. <laughs> well, you, well, you should rest after making all these records anyway. Yeah, yeah we're tired. Yeah. Mm. Look at Michael Jackson, he's going to be four years. I mean, you've uh, already outdone him. We'll try to release every song on the album as a single. Yeah, yeah it's 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 <laughs> Alright, listen, thanks for joining us here on the show. And uh, hopefully we'll get to hear more of Popsicle in the future.